This is livingpianos.com. I'm Robert Estrin asking the question, what to do with a piece you have learned? My goodness, there's so many things you can do with it. And you wonder, what, how do you approach such a thing? Well, the first thing I've got to say right out of the gate is the most obvious thing in the world. Play it. You'd be surprised how many people learn pieces and then they never play them and they forget them. Now, there's so many benefits to playing the pieces you have learned. One, it's fun. What's all the work for anyway, if not to be able to play music? Well, secondly, it keeps the pieces fresh so that if you play these pieces every day, it gets to the point where you can just whip them off without any problems. So if you ever have a performance opportunity, whether it's something informal for friends or family or something even a concert type of situation, you're so used to playing it that it's almost automatic pilot. You can just whip it off anytime you want. Now, what other benefits are there? Well, think about this. A lot of people spend hours a day on exercises to keep their fingers in shape and the muscles moving. Well, you know what? There are many pieces of music can accomplish much the same thing. Now, this isn't to say that there isn't a place for exercises. There certainly is. Scales and arpeggios, octaves, and other exercises are a vital part of piano practice. But in regards to just keeping your fingers limber and the muscles in good shape, just playing through your music can accomplish that. And that you have the ancillary benefits of developing the fluidity and reliability in performance. But like anything else, if you play them over and over and over again, there could be minute changes along the way. In the olden days of analog tape recording, if you ever made a tape of a tape of a tape, the sound gets pretty awful because each successive generation has a little bit of loss of quality, unlike digital recording today. Another example of this is the old game of telephone that we all played in school, where you whisper a message to the person next to you, who then whispers it to the person next to them, going all the way around the room, and you know what happens. At the end, you have a completely different message. Well, you can end up with a completely different piece of music if you just play it over and over and over again without ever referring back to the original, which in this case is the musical score. So how do you approach that? The best way is to take your score out of whatever piece it is that you've been playing all the time, find a tempo at which you can read it. Now that tempo is going to be far slower than the speed you're probably playing it at. Because if it's a piece that you learned and have played hundreds of times, you have a tempo that's much faster than the tempo you can actually read all the details of the score. Slow way down, find that speed on the metronome, Take your foot off the pedal so you can hear clearly everything you're doing. Then exaggerate everything as you play, delineating all the notes, phrasing, fingering, and expression. For example, if let's say you learn the Moonlight Sonata and then you wanted to refresh it, you've been playing it and playing it and playing it, uh, and you say, oh, I want to I make sure I'm playing this accurately or solidify the performance exactly where all the rests are, whether chords have two notes or three notes. There's all little subtle things where the crescendo start and end. It's not just the notes and the rhythm and the fingering. It's every single detail you want to cement and re-cement. So, Moonlight Sonata, first movement, turn the metronome on and play very definitely. Now, if you can reach that ninth, by all means, play it. I, my hand is so small, I have to catch that on the pedal, which is why it sounded that way. But that might not be an appropriate tempo for you. You might want to take it even slower, slow enough that you can read every note and play everything accurately. And I guarantee you, any piece, 
No matter how well you play it and how well you've learned it, if you slow it down and play with the score, with no pedal, with the metronome, you will find little things and you'll cement your performance and make it much stronger. So the lesson for today, what do you do with pieces you've played before that you've learned? Keep playing them so you don't forget them, number one. Number two, re-solidify with the score, playing slowly with no pedal with the metronome to make sure you keep an honest performance. There could be other practice techniques you could also employ in strategic parts that need the work, obviously, but these are the basics for what to do with pieces you already know. I hope this is helpful for you again. I'm Robert Estrin, livingpianos.com, your online piano resource. Thank you so much for joining me, and you can subscribe if you want to get videos like this in the future. See you next time.